Hello, I'm Simon and welcome to the CyRob YouTube channel. Today's video is going to show you the difference in behavior between um, a very old and past it battery. This one is a 17 year old battery and, um, and how it varies in behavior to a comparatively new battery, a three year old battery that's still in great order. So this battery was fully charged to 12.9 volts and it was then put into the car and two days later without the car being used just on standby current drain which all cars have it's dropped from 12.9 to 12.2 volts so already that is a glaring indication that unless you haven't got any parasitic drain which i don't have on the car there's no parasitic drain on the car uh, a battery dropping 0.7 volts in just two days just sitting there means that it's uh, past its best and needs changing but we'll go through some procedures and we'll measure current and voltage and um, and just see the difference in behavior so you can see the current clamp on the left if it's a minus figure on the current clamp that means that there's power being drawn from the battery if it's positive figure so the minus figure isn't there that means that current is being put into the battery from the alternator when the engine's running uh, the battery itself, you can see just through the unlocking process, just, just real basic stuff. It's already lost 0.2 volts, so it's gone from 12.2 down to under 12 volts now. Just through unlocking the car and opening the door, then as we cycle through the key positions and then turn the engine over, the battery dipped very, very low to 8.4 volts minimum. As a result, because such a low voltage was available, it needed a very high current uh, in order to turn over the 2.2 kilowatt starter motor. Um, and the charging current that you see in the high 20s, that's perfectly normal, as long as it drops to around about five amps eventually. Now you can see the calculation on battery voltage and current there. So with full electrical load on, the alternator is doing fine, dropping to around about 13.4 volts, and there's still charging current of two amps going into the battery there. This is on idle if you're driving around and the alternator's spinning up with the engine, um, the, the voltages will be uh, much more healthy. And then as we turn the electrical load off, the voltage returns to around about 14 volts, and um, the charging current, once again, nice and stable, around about three, four, five amps, something like that. So even though it was fully charged at 12.9 volts, it dropped such a low resting voltage in just a couple of days, 12.2 volts, and the cranking voltage at 8.4 volts was way too low, and that means you changed the battery. You've given it a chance with charging, and it's just no good. So we do the same then on this three-year-old battery, um, and this was once again fully charged before putting it onto the car. At full charge it was 13.17 volts, so I put it on the car, left it for a couple of days again, once again with the standby current drain that's on the car, and it then settled, as you can see, at a very healthy 12.79 volts, so all's good there. Um, because everything's going to move a lot quicker, the car's going to start faster and the figures are going to go through a lot quicker, I'm just setting the multimeter to a minimum reading so it will show you it will capture what the voltage dipped to during cranking same again with the current what with the current clamp what i'd expect to see this time is a lower um, a lower current draw during starting because higher voltage will be available because the battery is in better condition at the end of the day the starter motor is still a 2.2 kilowatt starter motor it still needs the same power and so if there's less voltage, it uses more current. And as we can see, the voltage only drops 10.7 volts. And as a result of that, the uh, current required was well under 300 amps. The maximum was 271 amps there. So that's a huge difference in behavior compared to the old battery. And there you can see, just using Ohm's law there, the difference so 
There's always going to be a slightly higher amps than Ohm's law, though, because of the initial inertia of the starter turning the engine over. It's only a small cog on the starter, and it's, uh, it's a pretty uh, powerful process that it goes through. So we're just going through once again with the electrical load on and off, and everything else looks absolutely fine uh, in comparison to the old battery, apart from those starting uh, voltages and currents, which are a real, uh, you know, obvious sign. Then as you turn the engine off, another thing is what it drops to, and it just doesn't drop um, below 13 volts, even after it was left for an hour. Whereas you compare the old battery, that dropped 12.4 volts after it had been taken off the car, and that's as good as it recovered to, even though it was fully charged just a couple of days earlier. So that's the difference between a good battery and a bad battery. Basically, the good battery doesn't drop below 10 volts during cranking. It isn't killed off by a, a, a normal standby current drain on a car, and so it will stick around the 12.5 to 12.7 volts quite happily and not cause you any issues and so if you've charged your battery and it's still giving you problems and you've done similar tests to this in the, those in the video it's time to retire it it's it's giving you good service and just fit a new battery and so many issues will be cured just using some very simple tests and observations and I hope you find all of that useful and thanks very much for watching.